Hello and welcome to another video from Teaching Methods Simplified. Today's math lesson is the commutative property of addition. Add in any order. Essential question. Why can you add add-ins in any order? In this lesson, we will learn that the order of add-ins doesn't change the sum. This is also referred to as the commutative property of addition. What does that mean? What is an addend? What is a sum? Well, let's look at this example. 2 plus 5 equals 7. The digit 2 is an addend. The digit 5 is also an addend. And the digit seven is the sum, which is the total of this addition problem. Two plus five equals the sum of seven. So when we put the two add-ins together, two and five, we get a total of seven. But what happens if we decide to change that order? Instead of the 2 coming first before the 5, what if we switch them? We make the 5 come first before the 2. Well, let's change the add-ins and see what happens. So here, I put the 5 first, then the 2. Now it's 5 plus 2, and it, according to this, um, what we learned today, the sum is supposed to be the same. It's still supposed to be 7. So 5 plus 2 should equal to 7. Well, that means that 5 plus 2 or 2 plus 5, they should both equal to 7. Let's check how this happens. So we're going to use cubes to represent this addition sentence. Here is 1 yellow cube, two yellow cubes, three, four, five yellow cubes to represent the digit five, the addend five. And we're going to use the red cubes to represent the addend two. There's one, two. All right, so now we have five yellow cubes and two red cubes. Let's make a cube train. Okay, let's put them together. All right, so here, five yellow cubes plus two red cubes equals seven cubes. Okay, well, let's count that just to make sure that they are really seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals the sum of seven. Five yellow cubes plus two red cubes is equal to seven cubes. Now what happens if we change the order of the add-ins? So here is two first plus five. Remember we used the red cubes to represent the two and the yellow cubes to represent the five. So here we have two red cubes plus five yellow cubes. Let's make a train again. This time we're going to put the two red cubes first and the five yellow cubes. And hmm, here we go. We have a sum of seven. Let's double check to make sure that they are really seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See? So let's think about this a little bit. What happens when we change the order of the add-ins? The order of the add-ins doesn't change the sum. In the end, we still have seven cubes in all. So um, that's what we call the commutative property of addition. And now let's practice some more. Three plus eight equals what? Do you know? Do you wanna, you can pause the video and think about the answer to this question. Three plus eight equals what? Well, if you got 11, then you are absolutely on the right track. Three plus eight equals 11. 
So if 3 plus 8 equals 11, what happens if we change the order of the add-ins and we make the 8 come first, then the 3? Now we have 8 plus 3. So 8 plus 3 equals what? That's right, 11 also. So 3 plus 8 equals 11, and also 8 plus 3 equals 11, which means that 3 plus 8 is equal to 8 plus 3. Okay, time to show what you know. Which shows the same add-ins in a different way? So the question is 2 plus 6 equals 8. Our first choice is A, 2 plus 5 equals 7. B, 6 plus 2 equals 8. C, 3 plus 6 equals 9. And D, 4 plus 2 equals 6. So which one of these choices is the same as 2 plus 6 equals 8, but in a different way? Choose the one that has the same add-ins, but in a different order. Now, if you pick B, you certainly have the correct answer. Here's a recap of what we learned in today's lesson. We learned that the order of the add-ins doesn't change the sum, and this is also called the commutative property of addition. So 2 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 2. As long as we are adding, the order of the add-ins does not matter, and we will always have the same sum. Thank you for watching another math lesson from Teaching Methods Simplified. We hope you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.